coaching head coach Badison Badminton Academy Bangalore 2016 partner Badison Badminton Academy I think with this much of introduction you people are eagerly waiting for Mohit Kamath on stage so please welcome Mohit Kamath <laughs> sitting behind it was just sunday morning in the month of march and he all of a sudden he came and he was saying look son look what is there in the newspaper and the headlines was mr p gopichand ulela gopichand winning the most prestigious all england badminton championship and that was repeated history after prakash padukone and below that it was written as state level coaching camp residential free of cost i think that connected to fun <laughs> <laughs> after that uh, after that babu shop event then we went back and i uh, went on participating in the uh, in the selection tournament can you guess what happened there of course i got selected because there were only four participants <laughs> let me give you my uh, family background my dad is a banker a city gate banker ex banker and my mother homemaker I have an elder sister who is four years older to me. Uh, he was introduced to this sport back in 19, early 1980s, and I was born in 1987. Before he even uh, could learn the sport properly, he quickly developed a dream that tomorrow, if I have a son, he should definitely pursue badminton. <laughs> you understand, right? The typical uh, uh, thinking of 80s. So. Uh, after that uh, i uh, after that uh, my schooling days i was a very notorious monster i was just like impossible to handle i used to carry all these fighting tools not the the bomb grenades and all but a fighting tools as a rope and i there is no certain day in, in my schooling days that i was not punished by my teachers and things Is it really feeling? Is it really feeling? <laughs> uh, am I audible like this? Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so things passed on, and uh, understanding the situation, my parents thought that I think it's better we move from this town to a different city. So then we gradually moved to a different city where I was exposed to a variety of trainings, and then then I could get into get involved in some serious practice. That's where we came from, Hubli to uh, Bangalore. After following it up in a span of six years, from district level to national level, I I came really fast. So that's a uh, unusual story of a sports player. So I came really fast. I climbed the la ladder really fast. I developed a dream of becoming world champion. I got obsessed for achieving it so much that I was ready to do anything for it. In the same time, I saw my fellow mates and college mates uh, following us the same usual routine of uh, getting the uh, uh, following their graduation. They started earning. They got into the usual the path which has been uh, uh, developed by the society. You know, you finish your education, get a get a job. start earning so that was the course but i did not give up on my dreams my dreams just stood a uh, little unique from all all of them when i started continuing uh, chasing my dream i got some opportunity uh, from european clubs and european nations like sweden finland russia and italian uh, clubs that I, i i went and sparred in that national teams so that exposed me to international badminton now having the having the dream of becoming world champion there is a qualification to uh, get into the world championship of course if you want to become a world champion then you have to first play a world championship tournament so for that what happens is once you enter into an international tournament you will have to create a bwf id 
where you enter into the lowest segment of the tournaments, which is called as uh, international series, then the challenger tournaments, then the Grand Prix, Grand Prix Gold, Super Series, then the last, the number seventh level is World Championship and Olympics. That's how you climb the ladder. And then once you are in the top 64, then you are eligible to play the World Championship. Things went on nicely. The followed year, I got an offer. When I came back to India, I got an offer from Indian Railways. I joined the Indian Railways. And then there were some new set of challenges where I will I had to work for half a day in the, uh, in, the, in the office and half a day of my practice. Again, things went on smoothly. When Indian Railways board announced that Indian Railway badminton team will be sent to the World Railway Championship. We were all excited and this was announced after a very long time. Imagine I am dreaming about World Championship and this has been announced. We went to the tournament. Now, can you guess what happened? <laughs> of course we became World Champions. <laughs> Indian Railway team won the World Championship. Uh, all of you here, I want, I, I, I want to tell you this. When we were standing on the podium with the gold medal on our chest and Slowly we could see the national flag rising up high and the national anthem being played. That feeling is just... <laughs> nothing in this world, I, I, I repeat it, nothing in this world can replace that. Nothing in this world can buy that. That feeling is... Unexpressible. That's why, if you see, most of the sports people they sacrifice their entire life for that one moment. It could be around three minutes or six minutes, and that's just worth it. So, <clears throat> realizing my world championship dream, when I was coming back uh, from that championship in my plane, by retrospection, I realized that actually I had uh, realized my dream. I had become a world champion. Maybe not in the right road, just like how Sindhu did, but I was dreaming it and I could do it. That's why you have to dream. Right? So now how many of you are dreamers here? I mean dreaming, not about the, not about the dream girl, Hema Malini and Nisha Patani. Dreaming about achieving, achieving what you want in your life. Please uh, keep dreaming, that's my message here. Things went on smoothly again, came back, I was following the routine of half a day uh, work in my railway office and half a day of practice until when I hit a major knee injury on my right knee. While I was playing, I just tripled off and I uh, had a patella tendonitis and I snapped my hamstring. That is when I had hit the reality of life. Then onwards, the life, my life was, I, and I realized that life is not greener on either side, <laughs> right? The dream life I was, which I was living, like a lot of attention with my friends and you know always pampered because of a, because I was a champion that was gone. Slowly I started getting involved in my uh, uh, teaching uh, young kids in my academy. Started assisting my head coach. Slowly I started honing my professional skills of becoming a coach. That was just unknowingly happened. And after that certain time, I realized that this could also be be a professional path. Thankfully, at that time, Sindhu and uh, Saina were doing really well in the world badminton. That gave most of the people here in, in, in India to take a courageous step of becoming coach. If you, if, you, if you just find out, a lot of people are coming into the sport right now. So that happened and I took a courageous decision. And can you guess what was the decision? Yes, I did not look back. I quit the job took the decision of becoming a coach and now I am a coach. Let me tell you one more thing. Being a coach is entirely different than being a player. And when you are a player, it's all about you. It's about me. How will I do it? How will I win a tournament? How will I beat that opponent? No, how will I achieve this? It's all about me, me, I, I. It's like an iPhone. Always I, I. But you, but becoming a coach, that's a different spectrum. You will have to look it's, it's never about you. You will always have to look about the players, about the highly energetic, highly excited, over expected expectations from the parents, the investor management and lot of things.
So today, I feel Im I feel immensely proud that I have quit my job of railways, a government job, and then I'm started coaching now. I'm having a really good time in my life, and uh, yes, that's it. I think uh, no more words from me now. Thanks for inviting again from uh, for a filmy event here. <laughs>